Hi everyone, my name is Chantelle and welcome to another video. Today it's time for another thrift store makeover and today I've got this little bunny rabbit for you. There's not much wrong with it. It has a little hole in its ear as I will point out about and now. But other than that, it looks fine. So yeah, this is what I'm working with today. For this project, I won't be using polymer clay. Reason for that is that I don't think this bunny can go in the, in the oven. I will be using air hardening modeling clay. So air dry clay, basically. It was only $8. It's from Montmartre, as most of you will probably know this brand. And um, yeah, let's just get started. So here I'm starting off with filling in his ears. I wanted his ears to completely disappear because I'm going to create a forest creature and not just a forest creature. <laughs> it is already a forest creature because a bunny is a forest creature. Uh, no, a whimsical kind of different kind of forest creature. Magical, whimsical. So I'm changing his ears into horns. Horns as in ram's horns. Uh, this creature is going through a lot of stages. In the end, I think it looks a little bit like a ram with parts of a sheep and parts of a bunny and parts of a chinchilla and maybe a little bit of rock and moss. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but, but here it is. I'm making a whimsical forest creature and this is what you get. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on talking about this clay. I grabbed a tub to with a wet towel and put my clay inside. And every time I was not using the clay, I would cover it with the towel and Obviously this clay needs to dry overnight, so that's when I leave the lid on overnight and clip it closed. And this was absolutely fine for the clay. It kept working and now still a week later, it still works. It's, it's still pliable enough to work with. Here you can see me attaching cheeks to this thing. Ah, oh, that's the animal I forgot to mention. It looks like a hamster now who's eaten too much. And then I decided to cover up his eyes because, yep, that's just what I did. It seemed the right thing to do. Now, moving on to his chin. This was a weird stage, like the ugly stage of this animal. It. Uh, I, yeah, I was adding the nose here and then I was like, um, this doesn't look right. This looks like creepy. And then I added the mouth and then I decided that the, the, the chin was not right. So I removed the bit. That's what you saw there and smooth it out again and then add a little lower lip kind of thing. And that turned out way better than the creepy um, chin. Uh, I'll later indent the nose a little bit so it doesn't look as weird and just shaping out the eyes here. And this is where I started adding details. Now I'll start with a swirl that I later remove and I replace it with different swirls because I like the Burton kind of squared swirls, the second one that I did. So this is where I removed the first one and add the second one correctly. Moving on to the eyes, I give him some eyeballs. Well, they look like eyeballs at the beginning and then I smooth them out to make them look more almond shaped. As I'm working on this creature, I found that his paws were okay, but not quite big enough, not quite uh, defined enough. So I'm giving him some new toes. You can only see me do that on one foot, but 
you get the gist and they will all look similar in the end. Then moving on to the body, I had no idea when I just started with this bunny and covering it with clay and starting with his face and his ears, what I was actually going to do with it. And I decided that I wanted it to look like a rock kind of creature with all these swirls that I did on his head all over his body. So I'm covering the whole thing with this clay. And then, like I just said, I'm just adding all the swirls to his body, also with some little triangles here and there. Then, of course, I removed his ears. Well, I didn't remove his ears, but I altered his ears. So he needed some new ones. And this is where the sheep or lamb component comes in, because they kind of look like lamb's ears. I think they look cute and they suit him, it, her, I'm gonna go with it. And uh, yeah, that's just what I did. And then of course he needed a new tail because we can't have a bunny tail. And this is what kinda made me think of it as a chinchilla because the body is kinda squished and plump. And then you've got this weird little tail at the end, which is kind of like a chinchilla tail. Once the whole thing was completely dry, of course you get some cracks on the surface because it's air dry clay. And if you just go lightly over it with an emery board or a nail file, you'll get rid of them. Moving on to painting, I use acrylic paint for the whole bunny and I still call it a bunny. Why do I call it a bunny? It's not a bunny anymore. We need to give this creature a name. Please let me know in the comments down below what you would name this thing. Anyway, the base layer is a gray with a little bit of added green. And then I'm going over with a watered down black acrylic paint to just fill in all those details so they stand out a little bit more. And then I'm sponging on a, a gray with a little bit of white as well after that to make it look like that rock texture what I was talking about before. And this is what it looks like so far. Now, because I want the horns to be actual horns, I didn't want them to stay the greenish gray that I gave it. So I am just painting on some light brown paint. Now, moving on to the detailing part of this creature, I have some yarn that looks like fur. If you crochet or knit it, it looks like faux fur. I have some moss, I've got some fake plants. Uh, I don't end up using the plants, but I do end up using the moss and the twine as well. So with some distress stain, I add some color to the twine because I wanted it to be a little bit darker and then with some craft glue I start adding the twine to the creature. And after doing the same for the other horn I start cutting up this faux fur because I didn't want the bulkiness of it and I start adding it bit by bit to the feet. After that is dry, I cut it into shape and it has fur on its feet and I thought it was rather cute. The glue I used for this part is simple PVA glue. And then on to the fun part, the best part of everything, obviously, is adding the moss. You all know, uh, if you've been with my channel long enough, you all know how I love 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 adding moss to everything so this is what it looks like so far but i'm not done yet at this stage here i'm adding 
some more strands of um, the faux fur to the base of the horns. And I think it looks good in the end. It, it adds that little extra element of different texture. By the way, I wanted to say welcome and hello and thank you for subscribing to everyone who is new to my channel. My channel has been growing a lot over the last week or so and just an, a big, big warm welcome to everyone new here. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram, I will post more art as in painting related stuff as well that I not always will post on my YouTube channel if you are interested in seeing that as well. I do have a Patreon as well if you want early reviews of projects that I'm working on and behind the scene stuff. And also we can chat in the Discord channel. The link is in the description below if you want to be part of that. Back to the creature, here I'm adding twine that I've, I've broken up in three pieces. So one strand I've broken up in three pieces and I'm running that through PVA glue and then rolling it and attaching it to the creature. It's really simple, it takes a little time to hold down in order for it to stick, but then it will not go anywhere. And this is one of those strands of the faux fur yarn, which I'm just rolling around the tip of the tail and then later I will trim it so it looks a little bit better. And just adding the final details to his face. And are you curious to see what it looks like? Let's have a look at the final result. And this is it for this whimsical forest creature. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you like to see more creations with air dry clay? I really like how this little critter turned out and it's pretty much what I had in my head. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials, support me on Patreon and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.